Hello, good morning, guys. Today's topic is how to cut a short collar jacket. Watch and enjoy. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, you're welcome to C Fashion Academy, a place where you learn how to cut and sew anything. Okay, this morning we'll be learning how to cut a short collar blazer, a short collar jacket. Short collar jacket in the sense that you know, whenever you hear short collar, it means simply means a jacket that is together with the collar. You know, most cases when we are cutting a jacket, we call the jacket separate and call the collar separate. But this one now, we come with the collar. It's together collar jacket. Do you understand? Okay. So, these are measurements. We have everything. We have shoulder, we have round bust, we have round waist, we have blouse hip, we have bust line, we have waist line. We also have the jacket length itself. Okay. Now, first thing you do while cutting any fabric, while cutting for any clothes, is for you to fold your fabric or fold whatever you're using like this one now we are working with a pattern pattern paper okay so you fold you usually fold using the word highest circumference now in this case the highest circumference is what our blouse hip which is what 36 it means just the circumference of the jacket around the hip side it means what 36 inches so in order for you to fold your material you divide your 36 by what 4 36 divided by 4 will give you what 9. Now in this case, don't just fold 9 inches. Just help me and add extra 5 inches for to it. Now that 5 inches will do lots of things. It will be for our button allowance and also for the lapel allowance. Okay. So now after folding the material, next thing you do is remember we're making a short collar jacket. Next thing you do is bring out that short collar allowance. You don't just start from here and start marking. First of all, bring it out. Now I'm going to be bringing that by what? Four inches. You can also use what? Five inches. Okay? Four inches. Okay? After you finish marking it out, use your rule and mark it. Okay. Now next thing you're going to do is what? Also mark out the what? Two inches. This two inches allowance is for the word lapel and the word button. Okay, mark it out. Two inches allowance. Now take your rule and take it straight. Okay. Now you are done. Next thing you are going to do is what? Mark out the measurement points. Now in this case, the measurement points are bust length is what nine inches. Remember, we are starting from here. Our shoulder now starts from here. Here is for the word together color. Now the shoulder starts from here. So from here, you measure what nine inches. This is the word bust line. Okay, so the waistline is what 15 inches. 15 inches Why the full length of the jacket is what 23 inches then you also add one inch allowance for the word hemming allowance okay do the same thing to this side 23 one inch hemming allowance okay next thing i'm going to do is take your ruler mark Okay, so after making it out like this, next thing we are going to do is what? Let's construct the neck first. Okay, in order for you to construct the neck, in this case, the width of our neck, the neck we'll be using here, the width is usually at two and a half inches to three inches. So in this case, we are going to use what? Three inches. Okay, mark out three inches width and what? Three inches depth. Okay, take your root. Construct the block first. Okay. Now you finish constructing the block. Now diagonally mark out what? One inch. This is still for the neck. Okay. So after marking out this slanted line, next thing you need to do is to take your root from here, join. 
then join towards this side but first of all let's take this one down here okay are you seeing it join like this okay after you finish joining like this you see that it's very sharp here so all you need to do is what silence the sharpness okay so after you finish doing this next thing you need to do is what mark out your shoulder shoulder is what 14 inches 14 divided by 2 is what 7 inches plus half inch allowance this half inch allowance is for the seam allowance now from here you have to do what step down in order to slant the shoulder step down by what one inch okay so take your room and then connect after you finish stepping down by one inch next thing you need to do is what mark out your what armhole length to mark out your armhole length you can also use exactly the same thing you use at the shoulder which is what shoulder is what 14 divided by 2 what 7 you can also use the same 7 here please we have so many formulas we use in order to get this there are different formulas you can also use your bust bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 you can also use that one but in this case i'm using whatever i have at the word shoulder please it works for me Now connect. Now take this down here as a guide. This is for the words I'm who. Now you finish doing this. Next thing you need to do is what? Please see the same thing we did here. I normally use it to get curves. Still do the same thing by measuring what? One inch diagonally. Now you finish measuring one inch diagonally. There is another thing. We have the words I'm who effect. So in order to get the I'm who effect, this is 7 divided by 2 is what? 3.5. Now, from this point, step back by what? Half inch. Now, at this point. Now, next thing you need to do for me now is what? Connect from here to here and here in order to get what? Ambo cuff. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we are done with the armhole now. Next thing is what? The dart. Please, in order to do the dart, we need what we call the word bust apart. That is the distance from the left bust to the right bust or vice versa. You can also call it the word nipple to nipple. Now, in this case, for a bust of 34, the nipple to nipple should be what? 7 inches. Now, that 7 inches is divided by what? 2, which should give us what? 3 and a half. Okay, mark out 3 and a half. From the bust line, also mark a three and a half here. Now, after you finish marking it out, next thing you need to do is what? Take your ruler and join to get a straight line. Remember, we are about constructing a dart. Now, for you to construct a dart, the dart usually starts from what? One inch below the what? Bust point. Now, this is our first point. Now. Where the dart will stop is usually what? 2 inches above the what? Hip line. This is 2 inches above the hip line. Are you seeing it? 2 inches above the what? Blast hip line. Okay. Now, still on constructing the dart, we, st we started from here, 1 inch below the what? Boss point. We are ending at what? 2 inches above the what? Hip line. Now, to construct the dart at the waistline, all you need to do is what? From here, give this side half inch. And also give this side half inch, making both of them what one inch. Now you've gotten this point, this point, this point, and this point. All you need to do is what join them together. Okay, now we we'll finish marking for the dart. Next thing we need to do is what? Get the body measurement. We have to impute the body measurement, which means the our bust is what? 34 inches. Are you seeing it? 34 divided by 4 is going to give us what? 8 and a half. Okay, now mark out 8 and a half. 8 and a half. Now put your extra 2 inches allowance. 
Okay. Now, from the waistline, round waist is 29. 29 divided by 4 is what? 7, 1, quarter. 7, 1, quarter. Now, stay at your extra 2 inches allowance. Okay. Now, next is what? The round hip. That is the blouse hip. Is what? 36 inches. 36 divided by 4 is what? 9 inches. Now, on this 9 inches, stay at your what? 2 inches allowance. Now, after getting all these points, next thing you need to do is what? Join them together to form the shape of the jacket. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, so um, for my clothes, I don't usually like it to be so straight. So I will not have to put the word side um, curve. So in order to put the side curve, I don't have to waste much time. You see, this is my one inch hemming allowance. So what I'm going to do is what? From this, my one inch from here, from this very point, all I have to do is what slant to get my fitting. Are you seeing it? I've now curved it. Okay. So I've done the neck, I've done the ham hole, and I've impute um, the body measurement shape. And I've, I've also done the that. So next thing is what? Let's bring out the one inch for the word button. The one inch for the word button. Okay. So from here. Measure one inch from here. Measure one inch. Okay. Measure one inch. Okay. Now this one inch, take it straight and join. Okay. So now there is something we call the break point. Or the breaking points anything you want to call it this is that point where the lapel bends do you understand at that point you know your for a lapel jacket when you fold it like this there is a point we normally fold it at some people usually take it to be um around their under bust do you understand or the waistline now for this particular one now our breaking point should be what one inch above the what waistline this is our waistline do you understand so one inch above the what waistline okay one inch above the waistline so all you have to do is what from here connect it down to this place okay now this one is optional for me, I like likewise I said I don't usually like my jacket here to be straight. The same thing to this part. I don't like here to be so straight. So all I have to do is what find a way to do what curve it so that it will look more like a sophisticated jacket. So in order to do that, all I have to do is still from the what still from the break point. Look at it very well now. Still from the break point. See, I now put it like this. See, I keep my rule like this. Now, on this very point, this very allowance, look at it, look at it. I will not reach at this point 100% because I want to get this very nice curve, okay? So, from here, from here, I will curve, 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 and then join to this one. Are you seeing it? We are getting a very fine jacket here, okay? So... After we finish doing this, next thing we need to do is what? Mark out the word color. So for us to mark out the color, look at the neck here. For us to mark out the color, we also first need to consider the word our neck width. The neck width is what? 3 inches. So in the same way, we are going to mark out 3 inches from here. 3 inches. Now take your rule from here. Are you seeing it? This line. Take it straight. Three inches are you saying it three inches okay now for the width of the collar 
most people you can use anything you want do you understand but for me i like using a bolder one not too bold so i'm going to use what three inches from here measure out three inches measure out three inches okay so in that case look at it join your three inches okay now there is another thing if you check okay first of all let me cut this one out okay i think it's better now okay now there is another thing you don't just leave it like this there's another thing you need to do you don't just leave here so straight like this see what i'm going to do now from here I'm going to mark at what half inch are you seeing it so this half inch now i'm going to join it back to this side at this point the reason why i'm doing this thing is to enable the color relax very 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 well do you understand is to enable the color do what relax very very well okay now there's still one thing remaining next thing remaining is what the lapel itself you know we've not really done the lapel what you are seeing here this is for the what button so we're going to do the lapel the lapel is dependent on the design you want for the lapel but for me let me see if i can get a better shape so from this breaking point i'm going to form my own lapel now at the end of this going to be connected down to this very one are you seeing it okay so let me join it at the break point at this break point under this break point that's where you get your word button okay this is a word a straight that you understand you can totally leave it like this or you can also get your word princess that the one that comes through the word middle of the armhole if you want to get that obviously see at the middle of the armhole just make sure you do what connect it to this this shape actually gives you what a princess that do you understand we also have the one we call the word shoulder princess that now shoulder princess that you don't go towards this way rather you go towards this way so in order to get it you measure here are you seeing what i have here is four and a half so you divide it by two that is what two one quarter so at this point mark it then all you need to do is what connect okay so after you finish connecting we are done next thing you need to do is what cut out your front part Okay, so that's it.